Welcome to the Budweiser Guzzlings Cup on Channel 82, presented by the Bermuda International Pool League. After elimination rounds at various clubs around the island, all roads led to the Devonshire Recreation Club. In the quarterfinals, Mike Zimmerman goes down four games to lose against Kino Zoo. And on the main table, the veteran and favorite to win, Gary Baskin, is up by three games in a race to four. We now go to game four of the Bascom Bakudo quarterfinal. Yeah, it looks like everyone's uh, uh, an upset so far besides her on our feature table, uh, Mike. Um, yeah, Mike, Mike Zimmerman and Chris Nelson are playing out of the Keen team. and yeah. Wolf is ranked 20, Nelson is 5, ranked 5th. Kino is ranked 15th, and Zimmerman, who's only played 8. Uh, I remember the, the rankings okay. over four years, not not just this year. Okay. So they get, they went, uh, actually my statistician, which is Carl Wilson, who's our number one ranked player, is uh, did a good job in looking up stats for over the last four years and coming up with this this ranking system that we have this year. Because um, to be quite honest, Mike, we've, we've had this tournament on for a while, mm -hmm. and we will pick out of a head and being. Beans is we took it to the next level. We, we, we thought we would try to make it and do it a little bit more professional. Yeah. So that's when we went into the uh, digging up all the stats from the last four seasons. Which was a good move. Yeah. It's a good move. Yeah. But now we are out at a critical stage here on table one. A uh, critical stage for Stephen Kudo, who's down 3-0. He really has to his back against the wall to win this one to stay in the game or Gary Bascom is going to march into the semifinals yes uh, this is this to be the first real test for me with Steven because he has a, a I wouldn't say a great table but he's got a workable table he could use he has a few shots where he can get his rhythm in and that's, that's what it's all about right now for Steven you want to take one game at a time being just so far down and you want to take one shot at a time also Actually, in pool, you, you need like two, three shots at a time. String, you got to string some yeah, shots. You, you have to let the confidence Yeah, you have to map out the table. That's how, that's how you become a better player. You know what you're going to do with this shot, but you also know what their next shot's going to be. It's going to be interesting to see what he does with this one ball. Is he going to go down in, in what, what you call the traffic? Or does he just play it a little cautious? Because with Mr. Baskin, you don't want to be too cautious or too loose. Yeah, but his balls look out their position all in yeah. one area down there. Yeah. Once Baskin gets going down there, if he gets a little space, uh, he's <laughs> he's gonna roll. The only ball that's really in his way is looks like the sixth ball. Yeah. Yeah. The green ball for those who are watching. Yeah. Kudo taking a good look at the table. Now if he goes for that one, what sort of English is he going to put it on it to go into down into all that traffic? Uh, you see, it's a slight angle. He may just use a little top. Looks like he's going down low on the ball, so that's on the bottom. So he rolled, he played for the four ball next. Um, that's why I say, was he going to go down in the traffic now or a little later, but it looks like he's setting up. As you see the difference between, uh, uh, we call them rhythm shooters. This bathroom's like a rhythm shooter. He gets down, makes a stroke, knows what pretty ball is going to be, whether the next, where the white ball and his next shot will be. And then he has a pedestrian player who just likes to map out, make sure that he doesn't make any real bad decisions. So over eight shot, shot by Steven. Good shot. Ah uh, he Can you see the two? It looks it might looks be. like he may be able to see that too. Yeah. He might scrape course there. But again you want to look for not just making this shot but your, your next, next shot. shot. Yes. Like I said earlier Mike this best table and seeing Steven have and it's, it's looking like he's trying to make the most of, most of it. Do or die. Yeah, it is. Um, well, 
He is going for the two. Yeah. Stevens Road to the quarterfinals going to defeat Catherine Wilson in the first preliminary round by 3-1. In the next round, uh, Stephen was pitted against one of his uh, teammates, uh, Keith Smith, who has a wealth of knowledge and experience within the game as well. In that game, he ended up defeating Keith 3-2. So he dropped the two there. Yeah. Uh, he is actually, in that game, a slight, maybe a slight underdog in experience, but in form. As you, see, as you can see in the 2014-2015 season, season, Steven's been doing very well this year. Uh, he's been leading our, our Stripes team to a few victories as we are undefeated. Now Mike has had, he has a decision to make again, Mike. Yep. Uh, do you try to bank that three, three ball? Bank the three, or does he run down? Or does he run down for the four? For the four. And then just He's going four. Yeah. So then his thinking after that is going to have to just, he's got to pull Mr. Basketball while he touches the three ball and just hope for the best. Well, he looks like he's going to have problems with that three ball. Yeah. Going for the four. There it is. Oh, okay. looks like he played a safety. safety. That's a safety, safety shot. Yeah. Keep okay. the white ball down on the corner, down the uh, one side of the table. If you see Mr. Parsons' balls, uh, completely at the other end of the table. But Mr. Parsons is one of them players that, if you you start playing safety with him, he loves the game of safeties, and he's a master. Yep, Zimmerman and... Looks uh, like Zimmerman's out. Looks like an upset again. Uh, Keen Azul on to the semifinals. Well, it looks like it was a... I had it, uh, I had it 2 nil maybe. But he's, uh, he's... It looks like this. It looks like it's finished. Yeah. He just told me, Mike just... Told me it was 4 0. Uh, Kino Zool. 4 0, yeah. Yeah, That's correct. Uh, Kino, uh, I've seen him play. He's uh, like, like Mr. Basham. I, I call him the rhythm, sh rhythm shooter. He gets down, he gets to his shot. He knows what his next shot's going to be. It doesn't take long. This has become a little cagey, little match as well. Mr. Basham can afford to miss that type of shot because. Uh, where Steven's uh, balls are situated. Okay, so we've got one match here. We have one semi-finalist. Yes, and Kina Zool coming out of Mariners Club. Uh, they call him Bermuda Breeze, but <clears throat> in, our, in our circle we call him the bus drivers. Mr. Dokina is a bus driver and he has a few of his friends. Uh, Clocky Trot. Um, you guys. Like Yellow Butterfield that plays with him. Um, Mike DeLeon also plays. All the bus him. drivers, yeah. yeah. You know, I used to work with his daddy, his father. Who's that? D De Leon. De Leon. Hey. Yeah, he also goes by Mike Deep Voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> for years. Um, De Leon again is another excellent player. Uh, he 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 has a very good game of pool. Uh, he actually was going to come to us Las Vegas last year, but he he of course he couldn't make it in the end. So we brought in like the sixth or seventh place player who, who committed committed with us. But he he has he has the game to back up the voice. I guess you could say, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Right now, Bathroom's on a roll. Yeah, well, once Bathroom gets in, um, he, he's, he's pretty much in charge of this table. He has no trouble balls, as we call it. Actually, Steven, Steven's three balls really giving him a lot Ooh. of trouble. As you can see when he misses this shot, that three ball is really, really going you know, to give him a headache. Well, he just gave Dakuto, Stephen Dakuto, an excellent opportunity. Yes, he is. But like I said, with that three ball where it's situated, 
it, it's still still gonna have to pull off a brilliant shot with his back to the wall he's gonna bank the three yeah that's what he said he has to commit to this shot don't be afraid of it just stroke to the ball he can come off of his ball as well yeah sure can but he looks like he's on my yes he is you called it I'm like, you did tell me that you, you, you used to be a pool player. Let's, let's um, not say when. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know exactly what is going on, so it's another speech at night. Every position for the four, for the eight straight up yeah. after this. See how good he is at coming back over here. <clears throat> yes. Is he coming or is he too? Oh, gracious, I think he... Just threw himself a lifeline. I it could be 3-1. Right. I think you're right. Just needs a deep side. He needs to get down. But his job's not done. So that he falls down. Yeah, I got that. Okay, so... Wolf and Nelson are now 2-2. Two -two. Oh, looks like he missed that shot, Mike. And oh, Mike no. Austin. It might cost him dearly. Let's see what Gary Bascom can do here. In a safety mic. Hiding the white ball behind the nine. Mm. Uh, looks like he's just left Steven with a kick shot at the eight. Um, a very experienced move here. A lot of people might have said, why didn't he go for the ball down at the corner pocket? But with, with the white ball being kind of loose, as we call it in pool, where Steven cannot control it as good as, as he may want, uh, Mr. Bass will be in a great position if, if Steven doesn't pull off a, a decent shot in this shot. What would you do here, Miles? Would you play the... Um, he can't play a safety because he's got his balls in a good know, position. My, my, my personal thing, I, I mean, it's, it's whatever he does, it's going to be a difficult shot. He could go down rail and kick at it. and Or he, he could do this shot and try to squeeze it in between the two balls because if he can go for the 10 ball, he might be able to get lucky. But you got to remember the white ball goes down and the eight ball goes down. It's game, set, match. Yeah. And it looks like he's going for the kick shot. Ooh. He missed the hill ball. Mikey missed the hill ball. Yeah. So. So now. Ask him likely to go all the way up. No, Mr. Bass. Ball in hand. Foul shot. Ball in hand. Ball in hand. You get to place the white ball anywhere on the table you like. Because Steven was unable to, to make connection with his object ball. Um. He has to make contact. He has to make contact, and something has to hit the cushion after you make contact. It doesn't matter what. You just have to hit your, your ball, and then you have to hit the cushion after that. Oh, this could be it. Yeah. This could be it. Let's see how he comes back up the table. Oh, uh, Mr. Bowser. Uh, I think that's, that's it's all, it's all over here. Yeah. Clean sweep could be through four nil. Yep. Second clean sweep in the quarterfinals. And there it is. Gary Basker. The Budweiser Gosling's Cup will be back right after these messages.